It's me, Major Nelson. I buy my shirts in space. If I just turn around to see a look at my shoulders, you'll see they're covered in foliage. Nerd. Yeah, I'm a nerd. I love video, video games. Xbox! Hello again. My name is Philip Spencer, and today I'm only wearing one watch. I find that wearing a bracelet on the other wrist is enough to remind me to keep an eye on my main watch so I don't miss breakfast. We've been listening very closely to all of your feedback and ideas, in particular the idea that we should be less shit. I ain't leaving you here, man! You gotta leave. It's a Call of Duty demo. This is the closest we get to emotional depth. No, oh, no, the man you knew died! And that's sad. Oh, hang on. You've dropped, you've dropped something. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I mean, look at this guy. He makes racing games for a living. And even he's fucking bored to death of the Nürburgring. Phil Harpen's the biggest racing track in the world. Oh, shut up. Evolve. God, blimey, that looks crack. Kraken, Kraken, would you cth look, cth look, I oh, know I can't do it. Welcome to Gay Paris, assassino. You got to kill a man who looks like a doll. Check out them stool physics, bruv. Gears of War, dragons. Ted Price is here to frighten you. Now he's got a game that's cracked down for clowns. Did you think that Dead Rising 3 was boring? We're not boring, look. We're not, we're not boring. Please come back. Obviously, at Xbox, the one thing that people are always asking for is more Fantasia. Fantasia 2. Fantasy Harder. Oh, it's a download-only game, which means it won't be available in shops. Just like Connect. Oh, shit, son. Welcome back to Fable, governor. A series that increasingly hinges on charming British accents. Look, you kill a man and they turn into a spray of tiny peas. But don't worry, it is still an Xbox game, so you've got a third person over the shoulder camera and a submachine gun crossbow. Twats in hearts! I just want to play a game where it's like Ninja Turtles, but with Batman as well, and the Turtles have to fight the Batman! And Project Spark gets Conquer the Squirrel, because we've got absolutely no idea what to do with him. Or Rare. And now it's time for the heartwarming tale of the giant furry penis who learns the meaning of friendship. Bonnie Ross for you! Hello is all about embracing the things that we are passionate about when it comes to Halo, like John 117, uh, the Master Chief, and the, the Green Guy. I love you, Bonnie Ross! I fucking love you too! The Halo Master Collection comes on over 10 Blu ray discs with fully remastered Chiefs. Now, for the first time ever, People who weren't even born when Halo 2 came out can one-shot you in the head and then crouch on your face. Anyway, it'll probably cost a small fortune, but you will get 4,000 new gamer score points, which is fantastic news if you're a chundering fuckwit. Hello again. I've just been playing a very cool new indie game called... Limbo. We're ticking all of the boxes here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We've had shooty bangs, cars, and now miserable kids. Indie games! As dear me, love, it seems like you've been traumatized by all of that time you spent running around senselessly gunning people down in the face. Now, I'm going to write you a prescription for another game full of senseless violence. It's the Witch 3! Skyrim can suck my balls! I've just gotta go kill his griffin, afterwards gotta come back and have a cup of tea. Gosh, you fucking can, you're just... Ken Lob! A man who looks like no stranger to Ken Lobbing one all over somebody's chest! And now it's time for Nick Cave and the bad CGI's! Oh, come on now, that's niche but good. I see dead people! Using this elaborate hologram system, very fancy. That's right, it's you Ubisoft's Shit Christmas Simulator, now with online co-op for the ultimate immersive experience. When you fucking shoot the guy, you fucking shitty noob, you fucking dumb... Crack down! So first of all, you need to coat your lorry in bombs, and then just gently drive it into the side of the building. But but boom If you can actually do that in the full game, I will make a hat out of marzipan and then eat that hat, and then probably go and buy the game, because it looks quite fun. And that's it. We didn't even mention television. Bye. And that's it for arguably the least exciting presentation of this year's E3. If you'd like to see more E3 conferences abridged, then do subscribe, and there'll be some more here shortly. Bye!